guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm filming a haul for you guys and hopefully this is my last haul before the holidays because I have to save my money for gifts for family and friends but yeah without further ado we're gonna get started so this is not a long video okay so the first store I went to was Sephora and I picked up one thing from there I got the bite beauty matte lip crayon and this is in the color Leche. Leche. it's a very pretty pinky nude shade and I love this. It's perfect for every day and when I went to Sephora I originally wanted the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Raquel because Kathleen Lights was talking about it and I needed it. But it wasn't there. They were sold out. So instead the Sephora girl told me to try out this and I actually really really like this. It lasts like 8 hours and I don't have to touch it up and I love it. It's a very creamy matte and it smells and like it tastes kind of like fruity. I don't know, maybe because this is like a natural line. But yeah, it's just a very pretty pinky nude shade. And I'm obsessed with it. It's perfect for every single day. And I have been wearing it a lot. So next, I went to Target. And I picked up these matte lip colors. Matte lip colors from e.l.f. And these are so good, you guys. I have the red shade that I picked up on right now. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's so awesome and I have the pinky nude and the red there was a flesh tone nude there too but I don't like flesh tone nudes at all I don't think they look good on me so I picked up these two other ones I believe they have six more colors available online but I don't really shop um, online for makeup I only go to stores because I like to swatch things and test out the colors so yeah very pretty red very pretty nude you guys need these in your life if you guys cannot afford to get the Bite Beauty ones or you just don't want to pay $24 for them. These are a cheaper alternative and they aren't exactly the same and this Pinky Nude isn't a dupe but they are very very similar and they feel these feel more creamier on the lips. Those feel more matte. I don't know. I really am enjoying these. The package on these is very, very, very similar to the Bite Beauty one. If you guys are looking for some cheaper alternatives, these are awesome. So next, I got the e.l.f. Prism Eyeshadow Palette. And this was $10, okay? I'm going to show you guys the swatches. These are amazing, you guys. These are such great quality. I'd pay three times the amount for these. They're so metallic-y and shimmery. And yeah, all of them are shimmer, which I don't normally go for shimmery shades, and I love these. I love, all of these are perfect on the lid all together. You don't need a matte shade. You can put all of these on your eyes like I did, and they will look amazing. I have nothing bad to say about this. I just love it so much, and I've been wearing it every single day since I got it, and I got it like two weeks ago. So I do want to do a look with this for you guys, and yeah, you might want to remember this because this might be in one of my future giveaways. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. So, the next thing I got was this e.l.f. brush cleaner. And it smells so good. It cleans your brushes. Pretty self-explanatory. Very good. $3. And it cleans my brushes really good. I have to spray it on there. And it's, they're all clean. And then they dry quickly. And it smells nice. So yeah, I've just picked this up. Nothing too special. So the next store I went to was the Cosmetic Company outlet. And I actually got one thing from there for myself. But my friend's birthday is coming up. And she does have a YouTube channel. Obviously, Emily E. Beauty. Obviously, you guys should know. She's my best friend by now. But anyways, I got her a bunch of things for her birthday. And she's going to be so excited. But that's not the point. I got this large stippling brush. And it is so pretty. I just used it so it's dirty. But it's huge. Like... It is very big. I love it for just blending things out, using it for foundation. I just needed a stippling brush I did not own. I own the e.l.f. small stipple brush. That's the only stippling brush I own, and that's like the size of my eyeball. That was not good for foundation or blending. That was good for cream products. This is so good. It's so soft. And this is by the brand Pers Perspectives. Perspective, I found it in the Clinique section. And just for all of you guys who don't know what the cosmetic company outlet is, they sell MAC, um, Smashbox, Bobby Brown, Estee Lauder, um, Clinique, and stuff like that. And they sell them at a discounted price. So they have old collections and they have just stuff that, just stuff at a discounted price. And sometimes you'll be lucky if you have your foundation shade there. Um, so yeah, I like to pick up things there when they are my color because they are a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot cheaper. So if you guys have one near you, I highly recommend you go check it out because there's lots of stuff that's just 
cheaper. Who doesn't want to save money? The last store that I went to was Health Hut. And Health Hut is like a grocery store. Like a healthier grocery store. Like Whole Foods. But it's very, very, very small. I feel like this is family owned or something. I don't know if there's any more of them. But I know you can get this stuff at any food store. So first I got was this Sayers. Sayers. This is the Unscented Witch Hazel with Aloe Vera. And I love this stuff. I picked it up a couple days ago and I've been using it. And I love the way that my skin has been feeling lately. And it's just organic and healthy. And yeah, so it's Witch Hazel and Aloe Vera. Looks like this. And it's just an awesome product for you guys if you guys are looking for an awesome toner for sensitive skin. This also moisturizes. I actually have oily skin and I still want the aloe vera. I still want my skin to be very hydrated because I just feel like it's been very, very, very dry lately but oily still. I know. I know. Next thing I got was the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. This is huge. Okay. It's a powder. I will show you guys. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh, oh. It is literally a loose powder and you mix it with apple cider vinegar or water. This mask right here is comparable to the Glam Glow mask and it literally sucks everything from your skin. Even it's sucking all the dirt, all the oil, all the gunk out of your pores. And this was so cheap. This was $5.67. It's fine to say. Any health food store, I don't know if you can find it at Target or Walmart, you could look. But yeah, it says this is the world's most powerful facial. I feel like that's true. I've never found anything that just, you know, you can feel it. You feel your face pulsate and it says it right here. Feel your face pulsate. And I was like, what is that? And it's just, it feels like your skin is contracting. Like, you can actually feel it. Like, take the stuff out and it dries. And it's just honestly so great. I've used this once and I could do a skincare routine for you guys or a night routine or a get on ready with me video. And I could show you guys how I use this. And it even has an expiration date. It expires in October of 2016. Lasts me forever. It will last me for this. I might have to throw it out. I might have to throw the extra out because you need such a small, 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 small amount. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little haul and... I will be doing a giveaway very, very soon. I am collecting giveaway prizes for you guys. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And please like this video if you guys like hauls and you want to see more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah. A tornado flew around my room before you came. Excuse the mess it made. It usually doesn't rain in Southern California, much like Arizona. My eyes don't shed 